Hello and welcome once again. Yesterday we began a short series, Psalm 19, verses 7 to 10. Now today I'm just going to read the section that we're going to look at today, which is the second half of verse 7. The decrees of the Lord are sure, making wise the simple. So we started yesterday with the, uh, with the categories of scripture texts in relation to universal truth. That is the absolute truth. That is spiritual law, which applies regardless of your culture, your gender, your age, of the decade or century or millennium in which you live, some of, of the spiritual law is universal without change. Uh, but second, there are true statements, but those that are specific to a time, a place, perhaps an individual or a group. Uh, here's an example. The events in Abraham's life and the covenants made between Abraham and God teach us about the relationship of the divine one with humanity. But we can't assume that these same specifics apply to our lives. We have to look instead for uh, number three in my list, which are the general principles for a good human life that we find in the, the uh, holy writings. Again, an example from Abraham. We learn to have great faith and that that brings rewards, and to be obedient followers of the Holy One. These general principles are abundant in Scripture, and they teach us how to be better people. And as this verse says, these principles can make us wise. They make the simple one the one with very little understanding or knowledge, they uh, impart wisdom to that person. Wisdom comes from searching out the universal truths. They'll be about the big picture. And it also comes from assimilating the character of the scriptural heroes. Tomorrow, we'll look again at the next section here and see what else we can glean from it. But I would recommend that if you haven't seen the first part of this series, it began yesterday, June 1st, devotional, that you go back and listen to that and perhaps each day a review the verses that went before and what we said about them. So I hope you'll join me again tomorrow and we'll look at the next verse of Psalm 19. Have a great day.